Hey there, I'm back. So I wanted to do a sticky grenade tutorial. So if you go here, um, I'll put a link um, at the bottom. I've got the script pasted here on the uh, UFPS forums, so you'll be able to just copy it there. Um, basically what we're going to do is we are going to use the grenades and we're going to make a sticky grenade. So I've got the script, uh, just called a sticky grenade. I copied the lifetime. I copied these components from the grenade component just to, for consistency. I also have a, a timer that I'm setting up. And then I've got a tag to stick to or a layer to stick to. The reason I did it this way is because um, with Shooter AI, you typically use like Team 1 or Team 2 or whatever. But then the layer, what you can do is you can uh, generally layer isn't used so I'm using the layer just called it enemy and then uh, this is just a private int because layers when they look up the layer they look up the actual layer number but tags they look up that tag name so the tag can stray a string but this way you don't have to look up what layer number you have and then I've got an explosion prefab which is private and then I, I just you just pull this stuff over. Um, if you don't have, okay, so basically copy this uh, right here. I'm checking to see if the explosion prefab is set up in the damage handler or not. Um, I just copied this over from the other script, and then I've got my on collision enter. I'm just converting that int to. Um, I'm converting the layer name to an int so that I can check it here and I'm getting rid of the rigid body. Um, so basically the first step that you're going to do is you are going to um, grab the grenade, grenade live, so it has this VP, um, it has the VP grenade script and it has the damage handler. So the damage handler, if you don't have any death spawn objects, basically the grenade's not going to do any damage whatsoever. So you need to have at least, I mean, just to have one, because um, this is what we're going to explode. And then on the grenade explosion, um, since I'm using Shooter AI, I turned off this required damage handler. So it was checked. I just turned it off. So I duplicated this and I saved it up in my weapon prefab folder, prefabs weapons, uh, sticky. So I replaced that script with the sticky script. Um, I put mine under my scripts folder, sticky. So I've got lifetime of three, that's how long it lasts. Uh, rigid body four, so I made it 30. Um, that's how basically how far or how hard you throw it. And then I've got a tag of the enemy and a tag of the layer. So since I'm using Shooter AI right now on the soldier, I left Team 1 and I just, I've got the layer right here, enemy. Uh, same thing with the zombie. See, so I've got tag Team 2 here with the enemy. Both these guys are attacking me, so player, and I am the local player. So on the grenade thrower, so this is the Hero HD weapons, uh, this projectile. It was the grenade live. So I just changed this prefab to grenade sticky. I just dragged it in there. And then when I hit play, what will happen is whenever I throw a grenade, it is going to, it'll stick to uh, the zombies down there. So, let's try to get one where we can see it. Okay, so. 
see right there it's, it was stuck to his back and the same thing as it'll stick to the soldiers so if I come upstairs okay so see it's actually stuck to the soldier so it looks kind of strange but it's stuck to the soldier uh, this is just where it happened to hit him see there's a grenade right there and then after time is up the grenade's going to explode and it followed this it stayed with the soldier um, so this way you can have sticky grenades or you can have regular grenades I would suggest making um, I would suggest duplicating this have one for sticky and one for non-sticky and you're probably going to want to change um, the weapon model so you're not going to want the grenade to look like this you might want a different type of grenade um, for the weapon model So basically you'll swap this out and probably what you would do is have another grenade and you would add all of these components. Just duplicate these components and put it on there. Um, and that's it. Hope that helps.